Hello and welcome to Marketplace Africa. We cover the biggest economic trends impacting the continent. I'm Zane Asher. Avocados were first grown in Mexico in 10,000 BC. Today, they're amongst the most traded fruits in the world, used in salads, sandwiches, and of course, guacamole. Almost 6 million tons of avocados were produced globally in 2017. That's about a 2% increase from the year before. Mexico took the top spot as the largest producer in the world. And as you can see, Kenya is actually the only African producer to make the top 10 list. While avocado harvesting in Kenya started in the 1970s, the industry didn't actually start picking up steam until recently when farmers jumped on the avocado bandwagon. Jackson Mwangi is a happy man. His farming business, just outside of Nairobi, is booming. From avocado, I do get a lot of money. With the maize and beans, there was nothing. Last year, I had, uh, I had cut mango trees. They were all ready to be harvested, but there was, there was nobody to buy, to, to buy them. So I decided to cut them down. And, uh, plant avocado. Mwangi is one of many farmers in Kenya abandoning their old crops and planting a fruit that was once rarely grown in the country. The idea was given to him by Kakuzi, a Kenyan-based farming company working with small farmers. I mean, Kenya is, is ideally suited for avocados. It's got great soils, it's got a great climate, it's quite a temperate climate. Avocados, we are approximately 700 hectares of irrigated avocados on our, on our own estates and we support about 2,000 smallholder farmers. The company increased its avocado production after noticing a rise in the need for the fruit. The whole avocado industry has taken a completely um, different turn in terms of how an avocado is perceived from its health benefits um, and that probably has been over the last 10 to 15 years that we've seen those real demands for avocados grow. And with demand comes supply. Kakuzi exports around about 80% of what it produces. 20% is, is non-exportable due to various reasons and that's a pretty industry standard. We produce, let's say, around 2 million cartons of fruit and that is exported predominantly to Northern Europe. According to the International Trade Center, Kenya is now Africa's biggest avocado exporter, bumping South Africa from the top. In 2017, it sent out an estimated $78 million worth of avocados. Mutomi Ernest is the CEO of the Avocado Society of Kenya. His organization encourages farmers to switch to growing the green fruit. We're calling it the green revolution or the avocado revolution in this country because uh, we had people who have we had previously planted or used to rely on coffee and uh, somehow they had some portions of land where uh, avocados were also growing. So and they are getting good income from the avocado portions of land. Chris Flowers says being able to export the crop at times when others aren't puts Kenya in a unique spot. Kenya currently falls in very much towards the back end of the South African season and depending where we, where we develop avocados in the future, that window may get extended into, into the winter period. But that extension of your market window, so you're supplying fruit into the Septembers and the Octobers into Northern Europe is quite important. Like any industry, there are some issues and Flowers says his company is working with smallholders to fix those problems. One of the big challenges we have as Kenya is our traceability of our smallholder fruit is very different to Kakuzi's fruit. Now if we're going to get the best price available in the market, we've got to have as many potential customers as we can possibly get. And Achieving traceability for smallholders will get them access into all sorts of different markets. Markets like China, which recently inked a deal with the East African nation to export avocado. I think it's terribly exciting. I think, I think there's a long way to go. Uh, but the sheer size of, of, of China means that if 
avocado has become part and parcel of the, the Chinese um, shopping basket, it is a great opportunity for Kenya. I think we've got we've to still do quite a bit of work to exploit that opportunity and that comes back down to issues of traceability and issues of phytosanitary and, and obviously quality as well. But that's not impossible. We have a um, requirement that we are able to trace a carton of fruit, so a four kilo carton of fruit, it's export packaging. We can trace that back to the exact field that it was harvested from on the exact date and understand all the inputs that went into growing that fruit. And we can do that within 24 hours. And that is traceability. As Kenya continues to climb on the export ladder, Kakuzi will continue to get the business partners thanks in part to Mwangi. I think the smallholder sector is where the development is going to be for Kenya. And um, I think we've got a huge opportunity to, to develop Kenya as an origin for fruit. I have introduced so many farmers from my area and they have started planting avocado here and in there. It's safe to say Mwangi is glad he made the switch to avocados. From avocado, I have faced a lot of money, whereby I have bought a car for myself. Even if you look at me, I'm very strong because I have something to eat and I'm still I'm eating this fruit. Every day I eat one fruit of avocado, every day. Just ahead, why one of the largest photo suppliers in the world is focusing on Africa.